Welcome to the second video in an ongoing series about the state's testing and accountability system. Today I would like to talk to you about the redesigned STAR test that was given to all Texas students this past spring. Students have been assessed with the State of Texas Assessments of Academic Readiness, or STAR, since 2012. These tests faced a major overhaul last school year. Now called STAR 2.0, the redesigned test limits the number of multiple choice questions and introduces new types of questions called constructed response. Many of the exams are substantially longer than before, and each child must finish the exam in one school day, with no exceptions. All tests must be taken online with more open-ended or interactive questions, such as short answer response. Students may now receive partial credit for an answer on short answer response items, which you can see in the Texas Assessment Family Portal. The TEA Commissioner has stated that the new assessment is not more difficult than the previous version. However, notable changes in passing standards lead me to believe that the test is in fact more difficult. For example, the passing standard for the third grade reading language arts test was lowered from 50% to 35%. In fact, TEA lowered the passing standard on all the STAR exams except for one. This makes me think that across all grade levels, the state is grading on a curve. Why are the changes to the STAR test important for you to understand? The Texas Education Agency uses the test results to calculate the A to F accountability ratings for each public school in the state. For our elementary and middle school parents, 70% of a school's accountability score is based on overall STAR results, while the other 30% comes from STAR results by specific student groups, such as ethnicity or special education. STAR results account for only about 40% of a high school campus's rating. At the same time that the STAR test was being redesigned, TEA was overhauling the A to F accountability system. Typically, these two events do not happen at the same time. Essentially, the state was rewriting the rules as the game was being played with new equipment. Though we cannot control the measures that TEA uses to grade your children, the one thing we can control is our commitment to you and your family. Our teachers and administrators will continue to ensure your child succeeds regardless of STAR scores. We use multiple ways to gauge how our students are learning and identify which supports they need. My next video will discuss a specific change in the accountability system related to how student performance growth is being measured. You can view other videos in this series or my previous messages by visiting the link on your screen. Thank you for watching. I'll see you around our district.